Hi guys, in this video we're going to explain the uses of the Relative Strength Index or RSI. It's a free indicator that comes with the MT4 platform and it's a very useful indicator especially on the higher time frames. To load it up on your chart, it's very simple, similarly to the previous indicators we've been speaking about. You're just going to find it down on our navigator and simply drag and drop it onto our chart. As we do that, we have a few options where we can customize it to suit our preferences. It's very industry standard for it to be spread over 14 periods or 14 days. Um, I may choose a certain color. I'm going to go for black um, and maybe make the line just a bit thicker. And this is obviously all your, all your preference. Um, visualization, um, I prefer it on the one hour time frame. That's my chosen time frame that I like it on, although you can choose it. Um, to, you can have it on as many as you wish and certain levels. Um, I'll explain what these are in just a moment, but industry standard again, 30 and 70. Simply click OK and you can see the RSI has appeared. What we aim to use the RSI for is to analyze certain overbought or oversold areas. It's a momentum indicator and provides an evaluation of the strength of a security's recent price performance. Generally speaking, it ranges between 100 and 0. Okay. And as I mentioned, the default time frame for comparing periods um, is 14, as in 14 trading days. Uh, traditional interpretation and usage of the RSI um, says that values of 70 or above, so just here we can see RSI hits a 70 level, indicates that the security is becoming overbought or overvalued and therefore signaling perhaps a trend reversal or a pullback in price demonstrated here. Um, an RSI reading, for example, um, that hits the 30 level, which is around this level here, indicates an oversold or overvalued condition that may signal a trend change as we identify here. Sudden price movements can create false buy and sell signals um, in the RSI and that's why it's very common to extend these regions from 70 and 30 to perhaps 80 and 20, which I've loaded up here on my other charts. Um, for example, something similar to this where I've simply just right clicked the RSI gone to my properties and adjusted these levels from 30 to 20 and from 70 to 80. Okay, And that kind of widens the spectrum a tad to give us only the best entries. Obviously we'd like to use the RSI in conjunction with our other technical tools, support and resistance lines, trend lines, etc. Um, and very, it's a very, very useful indicator, especially on the higher time frame. I find it works best on the one hour time frame. 